Stephen. Yeah. Andy Hicks is already through. An amateur. <laughs> Will Stephen Hallworth make it two non-members of the tour into the last 16? Well, first off, he's got to beat Daniel Wells, who I always remember was the very first Paul Hunter scholar. They gave a scholarship Daniel, to Thank you. a young player, oh, and he Wells was the recipient. The lag and will break. Yeah, a nice lad is Danny Boy. He uh, has a few other things at stake as well. I, I believe he's is he just inside the bubble of the 64 right now for the end of season rankings, Phil? Yes, he's borderline, so every point counts for him. Yeah, he may be amateur, young Stephen here, but uh, he's got a bit of swagger around the table. Oh, how did that not go in? Hit it well. And that's unfortunate. One. Daniel Wells was involved in one of our first matches here on Thursday. <clears throat> Had a little bit of luck at a vital moment. Daniel Wells won. To just pip Ian Burns. And he came through a close one in his next match as well against Teb Chira New after being well behind. Secured that was he played it with a bit of check, a bit of right hand side to square the cue ball up. Look at this brilliant opening red. And there was so much sod on that, you actually saw the cue ball swerve around, didn't you? Yeah, sure. Daniel yeah, Wells won a bit of action on it when it came off the cushion. Fantastic piece of cue, the big Danny. To that last shot, I think you'd probably play something similar here. A bit of left hand side this time, square the cue ball up. He won't be playing for yellow or black, I don't believe. Big stakes for both players. Nerves inevitable. Yeah, this is a nice opening red to have for Danny. Can play for black or yellow. Oh dear me! An absolute sitter. Time and time again, we've seen it. Elementary. I don't know. Pot's been missed all over the place. Simply pressure. I think a member of the audience there asked him. What had gone wrong? And he said, didn't know. One. Yeah, black going in the blue <clears throat> spot is nice. Eight. This makes this shot a lot more comfortable playing up for a choice of two of them. Oh, anything but short, Stephen. See, there was a big margin Nine. for error there. Probably play the blue now. Well, Black surprises me. He's going to leave a mid-distance red. And not the best of angles on it. 16. Now, how's his cue and his cue power? Ah, very good. OK, low in the blue, but a decent angle. 17. Where's his next red coming from? Two reds will go to right corner. Decided to go round the houses, but uh, the green was a big target. But a decent kiss 
similar shot to the last one, so at least 22. he's prepared for it. And he produced another good pot. Keep it sensible now. 23. A 21 point lead. Halfway stage, effectively. Stephen Hallworth, 23. He's got a chance if he thinks here in behind the green. As long as he hits a cushion, Ten second shot clock he's now got some time. He's just rushing this a tad. And not Daniel really Wells played won. it as planned, as I said, plenty of time there. He was just inside or outside the five minute barrier. So he had the 15 seconds. Three shots in this frame alone of that nature. He's punched in. Oh, that's another good shot. Pushing a red safe as well. Eight. Of insurance. This is absolutely plumb. Nine. Yeah, high in the black, but shouldn't be a bother because if he plays it dead weight, he can't leave a red. Decided to screw it. I've no idea why he's played to screw that. He's got to play in or over, cannon on the Stephen pink, nine. and there's no danger. He's given Dan a lifeline. Can he take it? One. Seven. Well, the time's in his favour, but not the position of the balls and needed to be straighter on the pink there. Fourteen. Get into the reds off this pink. So he's going to have to try and find something here. Maybe just open them up and try and get in behind the yellow. He feels that the red will pass along the cushion, 21. but uh, this will take some potting, especially the pace he's having to play it. <laughs> Never really on, was it? Daniel Wells, 21. One. Now for Hallworth, pot the pink, that's 15 in front, black out of commission. Hard to imagine Wells escaping Seven. this. It's all about time management now, isn't it? He's under two minutes. Dan would still be in there with a chance as long as he gets this red safe. That's a good effort, well played. Stephen Hall with seven. just running down the clock and who can blame him yeah absolutely 15 point lead is pretty crucial here oh and has he nestled in behind yellow oh he has must tip red foul well daniel it was good while it lasted Stephen Hall with four. end of story now <clears throat> One. 
Yeah, nice to see another amateur in the draw coming up. Stephen Holworth joining Andy Hicks. You could actually argue both players, having been on the tour in recent <coughs> years, are five could be classed as professional. I think they are the way they play the game. Well, Daniel Wells Stephen not giving Holworth up the ghost, five. but he might as well do. Winning this, a okay. physical impossibility, and that's why he's conceded. Stephen Holworth, the man from Lincoln City. He's through, and you know here at the Watford Coliseum, just feel as though a whirlwind is beginning to blow.